Marcy Mons here, and in today's video, I've got something really special. Um, so there's a device called the uh, Katana, I believe it's called, uh, from Polar Pro, and it's basically a grip for the Mavic, so you can use it as a st steady cam style um, device. And so I decided, rather than uh, paying for one, I know someone who has one, but rather than paying for one, I would try to make one myself. And I really just whipped this up in the past. Uh, I worked on it last night and this morning um, for about an hour each so it took me about two hours to make this um, from the design to the uh, finished product and so yeah so I'm going to show you how I install it on the Mavic and how I get it working for a Steadicam. Alright so first things first you need to fold the Mavic up and make sure all the propellers are off so I took off the propellers and set them aside um, and then uh, basically um, now you want to make sure that your Mavic Pro is switched into Wi-Fi mode, so go into the flap on the um, right side, it's a big flap, and turn it into Wi-Fi mode, and so yeah, now fold it up the rest of the way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install this piece right here, and this piece basically um, is a snug fit on my Mavic, um, it is this shape, and um, I'm not really going to provide the dimensions because they're kind of exact, and um, I just want you to, if you want to build this, uh, go ahead and fit it to your Mavic um, and make it fit how you want it because this is pretty tight for mine, but um, I decided it would be um, good to make sure that it all plays out of the Mavic. So I'm going to go ahead and put it under just like that, and then this piece goes right on top, just like that, and then you see that there's a little space in there um, to roll. So right, um, basically what I was going to do is I was going to put some wing nuts um, uh and some bolts in there so you can hand tighten them but um, I don't I couldn't find any um, through my vast expanse of uh, nuts and bolts and things like that but um, so I'm using zip ties right now so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I have a bunch of zip ties so I can just cut them and take them out but which isn't really ideal um, I know it's a waste but um, uh, basically what I can do is I can just um, kind of flip it around and do it once and tighten it down to my liking on each side so once the zip ties are installed you want to do your final adjustments so um as of course um uh, you can just go ahead and move the mount kind of back and forth on the map and get the cg just perfectly so it's most comfortable and how you do this is you take your fingers and you bring it right under the mavic and when you lift up it should be just nice and flat and if it's back, if it kind of sagging backward, it's tail heavy, so you want to um, kind of push it backward a little bit. So, yeah, um, make sure the CG is good so that it's really nice and comfortable in your hands. Um, so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is mount my phone. So um, basically what I'm going to be doing here is, since this is more of a uh, looking, this is more for like a lower angle, rather than the katana, which is like right up in your face, um, kind of holding it like this instead of holding it down lower, um, uh, I'm going to be kind of mounting my phone at more of a flat angle, so how I do this is I use these um, motors, the uh, motor shafts as a little support for the phone, and then I take the front landing gear, and I put a rubber band through it on each side, just like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick uh, my phone um, in just the way I want it, and so put one side in, kind of hold it in place. Oh, I put the other side in. Alright, and then kind of adjust the rubber bands to your liking. And as you can see, the phone is in there really good. Alright, so um, I went ahead and uh, connected to the Mavic and launched the um, launched the GGI Go 4 app. If you want to see how to do this, um, basically you're just going to go into your... Um, just going to go into your settings and type in the code found inside the battery compartment. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, and then just go into the DJI Go 4 app, um, and so you're gonna see these two virtual joysticks here, which of course um, the Mavic is not gonna be able to take off, and um, so you're, there's really no point in having them on screen. So go ahead and tap down in the bottom left corner to turn them off, and then um, so basically now you have your study cam here, and you can see I'm kind of you can go all over, all around. And it is very, very nice and steady. Of course, you have your focus right here, video recording, photos. Um, 
photos shouldn't really do too much this is mainly optimized for video recording one cool thing is that you can make cinematic shots by um, uh, using the gimbal on tilt or something similar like that and um, of course you can go ahead and bring the gimbal back up like so um, so you're pretty much gonna have to trust auto exposure right here um, because there's not really one on sc screen, but make sure you have your histogram, um, which is right there in the bottom uh, right hand corner to um, help you out with that. Um, so you're probably going to see all sorts of warnings um, up in the main status bar. Um, and it'll tell you there's a bunch of errors and compass errors and things like that. But anyway, so now that the fan's going, I'm better in the video. Um, so yeah, that's the DJI Mavic Pro. Um, how to use the DIY katana style um, grip for the Mavic using it as, as Steadicam. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you like it a lot, um, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Um, a lot of other cool mods are in the uh, Mavic mods and playlists. Um, Mavic mods playlist. So go ahead, check that out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.